welcome everyone to our family service from St Peter and St Paul's Church Greys. Actually, we're not in the church filming and the reason is I'm the Reverend Cathy, Reverend Carol and Reverend Susie are joining us as well for the service, as well as Anne, Claire, Belinda and others. There's a lot of people putting little bits together to make this service and Richard has cleverly made it all into one. The words should come up to the side of me when we need them. So let's come together as church at home. We are here today to worship God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you and also with you. And our opening prayer. Come Holy Spirit, teach us to pray and lift our hearts to worship you in spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We come to a time when we are going to say sorry. Sorry to each other, to our family, to our friends, but especially to God. If we say it from our hearts, he will truly forgive us. So, Father God, we come to you to say sorry for our sins, for turning away from you and ignoring your plans. Father, forgive us, save us and help us. For behaving just as we wish without thinking of you. Father, forgive us, save us and help us. For doing and saying things that are not what you would want. Father, forgive us, save us and help us. May the Father forgive us by the death of his Son and strengthen us to live in the power of the Spirit all our days. Amen. Now we're going to see how to make a pig pen. Yes, I did say a pig pen. Enjoy. Hi everyone and welcome to today's make uh, that involves some very nice sweet treats. Uh, so today for our making activity we will need the following ingredients. So any round biscuits, so we've got rich tea but if you like digestives you can go for that too. Uh, Matchmakers, any flavour, um, some strawberry laces, um, some pink and green fondant icing, I've cheated and bought some from Tesco's and then a little bit of water icing made with the water and the icing sugar. So today we are going to make a pig in his sty. So we've got several different designs here um, that we've got that um, myself and Daniel and Jacob have made. And so we're going to go through and see how we make these and the different stages. So first of all, I have taken a little section of my green fondant icing. I'm then going to get my rolling pin. Okay, and then we roll out our icing so that it's nice and flat. Okay, so here's one that we made earlier. So this one's been nicely flattened out by Jacob. So we can get our biscuit and work out roughly how big our bit of grass needs to be. Now, uh, I um, have used a knife to go around here, okay, which obviously you can use if you've got a parent obviously supervising you, or you can just use your fingers to get a rough outline because obviously grass is never perfectly flat. So then we've got our biscuit and we've got our grass layer at the bottom of our biscuit. Now we've got several different ways to make our pig. So this one, Daniel has just made. Okay, so um, we can use the pink fondant icing to make our nose and our ears and our legs and our body. Okay, and then for our strawberry laces, Okay, we've got our strawberry laces and we tie a knot and we attach it into the back of our pig. So uh, it's really easy to make. So you just make a body and a head. 
okay to start off with now before you put your body on your head you need to have a design of your face okay so you can do that in lots of different ways you can just make the shape of your uh, nose and then squash it out a little bit and then tease out a little ear shape and then to add some detail you can use the edge of a spoon or a pen or a knife to make your nostrils in your nose and then your face of your pig mine's a little bit wonky there <clears throat> so then you attach your pig okay to the body And then for this type of pig, we just got out four little sections of icing, okay, and made a leg in that way, okay? And then it ends up looking like this. Secondly, if you want to make it uh, one like this, okay, then I've obviously done this nice and flat, so you could do it however way you want. So again, you can use something to help you get the shape. So I washed some money, okay, and I use that as a rough outline, okay, to get roughly the right edge of um, the face, okay, and I use a 10p piece for my first little bit, and I use a smaller money, so the 5p piece, okay, to get our second layer of our pig's face for our nose. But you can just make it into a raised section there so that it's sticking up a little bit more. <clears throat> so then you can either place your big pig, your 3D one, onto your grass. Or, okay, you can add your 2D face one on there. Okay, and then we can use little bits to make our ears. So remember that our pigs have floppy ears so here we go we can add that again we can use um, our pen or our knife or fork if our um, parents are supervising and then okay we add a little section of icing to make our body To do our towel, you get your strawberry lace. And obviously you don't need a whole one. So that's good because you might be able to eat the rest later. Okay, and you get your piece of strawberry laces. Okay, and you tie a little knot in it. Okay, if it's quite long like my one is, you can break it off the end. And then you can add it in as your tail on your pig now as you can see on our ones we've used our matchsticks to make um the pig sty now um, we tried several different ways to do this and you can do it however which way you want to do it so first of all we've just stuck it over the top of our outline on this biscuit other ways you can stick the um pieces into the icing standing up and then this is where we've used our water icing here okay to stick the um, matchsticks together so you can do that however which way that you want okay um i also thought you could try and if um you've got a time you might be able to build your pigsty like this and pile the matchsticks matchsticks on top of each other so keep breaking them up here and then can use a teeny weeny bit of icing to help you stick on okay and make it up that's quite uh to each level okay so you can be as created as you want with your pig sty okay and then eventually you can either put your pig sty on the top there 
okay or uh, you can have your 2d face like in this one so i hope you enjoy making your uh, pig and i hope that you enjoy eating it as well um so have fun be as creative as you want and maybe if you take a photo um, you could stick it up on the Facebook page so that we can all see your pig once you've created it. Bye everyone, take care. So, I hope when you've finished, and especially making those pigs, that you send us pictures of your pigs in your pig pen. Look on our Facebook page and send us the pictures. That would be lovely. Now we come to a bit of action time with the Reverend Susie. And she's going to demonstrate the actions and she's going to sing a song that we want you to join in with. So over to you, Susie. Well, hello, and um, it's time to sing our song now. And this song has actions, but I need you to do the actions for me because obviously I'm playing guitar and I've only got two hands, so I can't do the actions as well as play and sing. And the actions are this, okay? They come in the second part of the song and the actions are so high and you can really stand up and really reach high. So high, you can't get over it. So low and you can really crouch down low and go really small. You can't get under it. And then so wide, as big as you can go, as big as you can go, you can't get round it. So, so high, you can't get over it. So low, you can't get under it. So wide, you can't get round it. Okay, got that? Excellent. Let's sing. Jesus love is very wonderful. Jesus love is very wonderful. Jesus love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. So high, you can get over it so. jumping around so high and so wide it's made me quite tired I need to sit down for a rest but it's good to sit down and be quiet for a moment because the Reverend Carol is going to tell us a story a story about two brothers and how one wasn't very nice at all here's the Reverend Carol hello everybody there was once a farmer and he had two sons. And one day, the younger son said, Dad, I want my share of all the farm. Can you give it to me now? I don't want to wait until you've died. And the farmer was very sad, but he counted out what the farm was worth. And he gave half of it to the younger son. Still counting what it was worth. A 
and the younger son decided he was going to take his money and he was going to go on a journey. The younger son set off to a far away place. Till he came to a big city. In the big city, there were lots of places that he could spend his money and he had lots of it. It's a very big, tall place and he could spend a lot of money there. And more money here. And he thought he'd made lots of friends. But soon his money had all gone. And he needed to find some work because he couldn't eat. And he found himself doing a job that was really bad. He was looking after pigs and he was so hungry he started to think about eating the pigs food. When suddenly he came to himself and he said, my dad's paid farmhands do better than this. What about I go back and say to my dad, I'm really sorry, he doesn't need to treat me as a son anymore, I've been so bad. Um, and I'll go back to him and say, just employ me like your farmhands. So he started on his long journey home. His dad ran up to him and gave him a big hug. And his son started to say about working for him again. But his dad said, hooray, everybody, get this boy some clean clothes. We are going to have a party because the son that I thought was lost is back. Quick, let's get some food going. And everybody was happy on the farm, except for the younger son, who said, you've never done this for me. Why, why are you doing it for him? And his father said, the son that I thought was lost is back with us. Celebrate with me. I've been with you the whole time. I would have done the same for you. I wonder what God is like. I wonder whether Jesus told this story about the Father because God is like the Father. I wonder how it felt to be the younger son celebrating when he thought he'd done so many things wrong because his father had forgiven him. And I wonder what it was like to be the older boy understanding for the first time what God was like. I wonder... To you. So now we come to professing our faith. That means saying what we believe as Christians. I'm going to ask you some questions and say the answers if you agree. Do you believe in and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we all exist? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. So now we come to a time of prayer. Did you do some wondering? Well, now we're going to uh, pray to God. We're going to listen to God and we're going to speak with him about the story. So first of all, we're going to think about the father, the fat 
that the Father God loved both his sons. And when one came back to him, he was already there running to meet him and bring him back to the family. So we're going to thank God for how much he loves us. So if you'd like to, sometimes people pray with their hands open to sort of, um, to receive almost, rather with our hands closed. So if we say, thank you, God, for the way that you loved us, you love us. You love us like the father loved both his sons. And then we're going to say, please, about that story. And we're going to think about the um, young, the older son, who probably hadn't worked out what a lovely man his father was. And so we're going to say to, um, to God, please, Father God, let us understand just how wonderful your love is. And please help us to love other people in your love. And then we're going to listen and we're going to say, Father, what do you want to say to me today about this story? We're just going to spend a couple of moments. And we're going to say thank you. Amen. Thank you for those prayers. And now we come to gather all of those prayers and our own personal prayers together in the prayer that our Saviour taught us. So as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now we've got a time for a takeaway. But this isn't food now. Anne is going to show us how to make something. So when we've finished the service, you can go and make it. Again, we'd like to see your finished articles in a picture, send it to us on our Facebook page. We'll be pleased to see them all. Over to you, Anne. Hi, everybody. Today we're going to be looking at a craft um, all around St Valentine, and we're going to make a hanging template. So as you can see, it's all on one sheet, the harp and the handle ready for you to cut out. Make sure you've got an adult with you to help you with using scissors. And you can find the templates on our website and download to print off as many as you like. It doesn't have to be on pink card, you can do it on white. So first of all, take your scissors and here's one, as they say, that I made earlier. I've cut out my heart and you can see there's lots of squares on it. And this is the handle. Now with the handle, you can fix that. I've used sticky dots. And you can use these or you can use sellotape or you can use glue or whatever you've got to hand and you're going to place it on the front and on the back so you end up with a heart still with all your squares now I cheated earlier I'm just going to put that to one side because I decided I'd color mine first before I actually cut it out so as you can see I use these sort of pens and I'm not saying that mine are fantastic but you get the overall picture that you can color these in and then what happens is that they look like ribbon that's been threaded through I'll leave it up to you to be creative so we'll just quickly finish that and color it in as you can see, this one hasn't got the handle or anything cut out. And my drawings and colouring are not fantastic, but I'm sure you'll do a much better job. So then take your paper, cut out your heart, put your handle on. And then what we're going to do, you'll find on the website, we're going to turn it over 
because on the website let me just get them for you I'm going to shake these off you will see that there are some verses and you can choose your own heart because it says we love because he loved us first they're all from the Bible in John and Romans and Deuteronomy but I'll let you choose whichever one you want so just for quickness let me put that to one side here are mine already cut out now you can either it's entirely up to you but you could put two on if you wanted to or you can put one on I'll leave the designing and colouring and everything up to you so let's just go backwards here's our heart let me just move it down so you can see it properly and we've got our verses and we've got our cut out heart I do hope you've enjoyed watching the craft with us here today and we'd love to see if you want to send pictures to us it would be fantastic let us know how you get on thanks for watching bye thank you very much Anne that was so good I might even give it a go myself later on so we come towards the end of our service so is our final prayer and the blessing the love of the Lord Jesus draw us to himself the power of the Lord Jesus strengthen us in his service. The joy of the Lord Jesus fill our hearts and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. So that's the end of our service. Thank you everybody who was uh, part of it today. And thank you, Richard, for putting it all together for us. Another thank you. A thank you to all those who have remembered to send electronically their giving for this week. Those that have got envelopes at home, don't forget to pop the money in and put it to one side until we open church. And then you can bring them all. You won't miss out. So finally, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. <music>